Holy calamity, scream insanity. Are oh, you ever going to be another great fan of me? Bang. So, Handsome Boy Modeling School is the name of a collaboration between two American hip hop producers. Uh, they are, that well, the usual stage, stage names are Dan the Automator, who has uh, been involved in various projects, including Gorillaz, and Prince Paul, who was a member of De La Soul. Um, they had an existence from 1999 to 2006 in which time they produced two albums. And this was the first of those albums. And uh, it, it's, it's a rap album, but, well, at heart, but it's a bit odd. Uh, so firstly, it's a concept album, and it's loosely based on a uh, one episode of a TV show which features... Uh, somebody getting involved in a modelling school that is called the Handsome Boy Modelling School, uh, which is hence their name as a as a uh, as a collaboration. Um, it's interesting, and as I said, it's a bit odd for a, a rap album, and so kudos for that. Um, the kind of the backing sound is a little bit more electronica than a lot of uh, hip hop uh, by which it mean I mean it leans towards the kind of fat boy slim kind of thing um, which I think means mostly that it's got more sound effects and uh, spoken bits used as samples and repeated um, there is as I said rap there's quite a bit of that uh, there's some soul singing uh, and there's a good fair whack of interludes and spoken bits in between as well so it, it does loosely tell a story um yeah which is followable yeah, not too bad it's got a huge cast of extras so there's lots of different people involved um and it's not all rap I, I i try and comment on the the quality of the rapping when i have a rap album not that i really know very much about rap um it was okay uh, it kind of flowed along nicely. It didn't feel like it was too um, clumsy or you know anything like that. It seemed to work. Um, so I think my favourite thing in it is a song. Uh, it's a song about in the middle, and it's called The Truth. Um, and it guests, I think her name is Rasheen Murphy of Maloko, uh, which is very nice. Um, there's another track on it, which is... Uh, kind of rap but also kind of more towards the electronica vibe again uh, called Holy Calamity so I'm a little bit confused by this I quite like it um, but the thing that I'm confused by is that it is familiar to me I really don't know why but I, I'm fairly sure I've heard it before my faint suspicion is that I had a housemate once who liked it and so played it a few times to me but it's certainly memorable uh, so it's good um, so there are good things in here. I like that track. I like the sung track. Um, I like a few of the other tracks. Some of the tracks, uh, there's some of them kind of use very gritty electronic sounds, and I'm often not a fan of those. I didn't like it on this case. Some of them, it feels like uh, the two repetitive. So I know a big thing, and kind of electronic and hip hop is to have a thing and then repeat it. I mean, you know that happens musically as well. In um, in other music, uh, but when you get a sample and you know, repeat it, but sometimes I felt like they repeated some of the samples too many times. But sometimes it's quite cool. Um, um, I think it all just depends on the backing. So some of it's maybe a bit more hardcore hip hop, uh, which is less to my taste. There's be world, there's some rude words in there, but I think overall I felt that it was refreshing as a rap album. Because, first of all, it's not all about guns and drugs and uh, that sort of thing. It's very different. It's quite light-hearted, uh, which is quite odd for a, a rap album on this list. Um, so, yeah, kudos for being a bit odd and being a bit different. Mm -hmm. 